Dr. Jesse Sanders, owner and chief veterinarian of Aquatic Veterinary Services. Today we have kind of an uncomfortable topic. Um, this is to address what fish owners should do if you feel your pet fish is suffering, is sick, and it's just come time to put, you know, fish to rest and put them out of his misery. Well, the first thing you should absolutely do is contact your local aquatic veterinarian. Um, a lot of the times, you know, things that some owners think are end of life, we can't actually fix. So certainly, if it's come to, you know, you just need help, please, please, please give us a call. We can certainly at least guide you and tell you if we even think your fish can be saved. Uh, once you have established that relationship, um, it's really easy to kind of work with the veterinarian on what is the best method to euthanize a fish that just is suffering and you just you know, want to do the, the right thing by them. So what you should absolutely do not do, do not flush your fish down the toilet. It's just, don't do it. No matter what movies tell you to do, it's just a horrible, awful, really terrible way for your fish to die. A, it's going to be chlorinated water, which is basically frying their poor little gills. And B, you're also going to be introducing disease and other things to whatever is on the other end of that. Um, again, it might take a couple steps to get there, but do not flush your fish if they are sick or even if they are dead. If they are dead and you know that they are dead, it's okay to dispose of them in the regular garbage. Um, but please do not flush your fish. It is a horrible, horrible way to die. Second most horrible way for a fish to die is to put it in the freezer. Now, fish can feel pain, so essentially if you were put in a freezer, it would pretty much be the same thing. Except a fish is more water than us, and all these little tiny ice crystals are going to basically obliterate it from the inside out. So no flushing, no freezers. Now, best method for home euthanasia is clove oil, um, also known as eugenol, and this is found at some health food stores. And again, with a veterinarian, they can certainly walk you through the correct procedure. But we're going to start this out. Make sure if your fish is actually sick and you've contacted a veterinarian, that is the time to discuss end-of-life care. Um, I understand it's your pet and you're allowed to make your pet's decisions, but please answer, uh, talk to a veterinarian and just answer, get some general questions answered before you move on. And then, no flushing, no freezer. So, don't do any of that. Um, clove oil is going to be probably your best bet. So a really uncomfortable topic I know to cover, but we really want to make sure that once the fish has, you know, ended, entered that end of life period, that they do not suffer anymore. So I'm going to say it one more time. No flushing, no freezer. Got it? If you have any more questions about fish health and disease, please visit our website at cafishvet.com. At Aquatic Veterinary Services, fish are treated like family.